Tuscaloosa in town tonight with a great record coming off a win. 42 points so far, followed by Cowichan at 35, Nanaimo with 27 points. A uh, respectable record and also Powell River not doing so well down there at the bottom. Mainland division, it's Surrey leading with 31, followed by Chilliwack, Langley and Burnaby. And we'll move over to the interior division where Vernon is uh, well, well ahead, 44 points, followed by Penticton, Prince George, Merritt, Quinnell, and Trail. And Prince George. The Nanaimo Clippers, it's 18-year-old rookie Cody Brown, the native of Strathmore, Alberta, is 8-7 this year with one shutout, a 3.40 goals against average, and an 8.87 save percentage. His backup is Bill Dick. And for the Salsa, there you see Travis Harrington, 18-year-old rookie from Saskatchewan is 8-2, and two, a 2.81 goals against average, and a 9-1-8 save percentage is back up tonight is rookie Bryce McFadden. Tonight's referee is Ian Zibben. His linesman, Carl Poole, and Kirk Van Helvert. Starting up front for Nanaimo, Corey Lafreniere at center with Martin Vosdecki on his right side, and Greg Hornby on his left wing. Hornby, the 16-year-old from Nanaimo, had two goals, including the winner against Cowichan Wednesday night. Nick Underhill and Jason Joseph will be paired on defense. And for the Salsa, it will be Martin Correa with Greg Barber and Rob Wright out up front. Mushaluk and McCall on defense. Rob Wright out controls off the faceoff. Tries to dump it in, went off a leg. Now the Salsa get it in deep. Brown leads the puck there for Jason Joseph. Up for Grant. Three on two over the blue line. A wrist shot, pad save, Cody Brown. Rebound, and Brown will hang on to that. Some early scoring chances for the Salsa. Korea with a few shots. And here's a two on one, Hornby with Wozdecki. Greg Hornby, a wrist shot right off the face mask of Harrington. Hornby got in pretty deep. So it was a bit of a sharp angst for Lafreniere. Lafreniere cross right the shot. And a nice save by Harrington off Bryce Colburn. Nice setup. And a big stop by Travis Harrington. His best save of the hockey game. Here's Colburn by McCormick. There's puck in front. O'Connor backhander. Another whack at it. And Brown keeps it out. Keen at the point. Tipped right on. And Brown will hang on to that. Cody Brown has looked sharp early on. And now we see O'Connor mixing it up. Leads the Celts in penalty minutes. Fletcher, wrist shot on goal, and Harrington will glove it, and the Clippers get a face-off deep in the Salt zone, short-handed. Well, it's always a bonus, Darren, if you get a shot on goal while you're short-handed. Korea with Barber and O'Connor up front now, and Wilson will play the point with Keane. Wilson a forward. Martin, first of all, let's talk about that first period. You missed at about 11 minutes in on that backhand, uh, but your team is still keeping up the pressure. Well, we had a good period. We got lots of shots on goal. And there weren't too many guys going to the net for rebounds, but there certainly were a lot of them. So now we just got to go to the net and start banging in rebounds. Play. Bostecki plays it to the point for Joseph. A shot right on, tipped in. They score a power play goal. It's, this is a big goal for an Iowa Clippers. They win the draw to the side, get it back to the point. Point shot is nice and low. Oh. Very playable, very playable. Excellent shot by the defenseman. A little wide, you have someone on a doorstep. If you can get a stick on it, it goes in the net. Two minute shift. 21, Grace Cobra. There's McCormick with the break, right in. He scores, Brian McCormick. And the Salsa get one back late in the, the second period. So this could be a, a mental lapse on the Nanaimo Clippers. And here the Victoria of Salsa battles back. There's still 20 minutes left. There's still a third period apart. And that's McCormick's 19th goal of the season. But this is a huge goal for Victoria. I think it might have put a spark in their play. Now they're coming back. They're down three for the third period. 20 minutes when you got a 4-1. 38 seconds. Fells and O'Connor. A couple of heavyweights going at it. Fells throwing the right hands. Trying to get that helmet off. This is a good situation. 
Now O'Connor's got his right hand loose. Now the linesman break it up. Not too much of a fight. A little bit more of a wrestling match back and forth. Yeah, O'Connor giving the guns to the fans, but his team just announcing the uh, stars right now. Uh, Cody Brown, uh, father, who he says.